Welcome to Huawei Middle East Innovation Lab. From previous video, we demonstrated how to design multiple sites and add devices into each site in Huawei S21 solution for design. And we also learned how to bring up the router devices online automatically to their touch provisioning technologies and, and, and build up the S, uh, BGP EVP internal in SD1 solution. So today's session will demonstrate how to configure the overlay network in so we can virtualize multiple network in one physical network as well as the underlay network. Okay, let's switch to the live environment. So we can see the same home page of the Amazon NC campus platform as previous video shown. So we also click inside multiple branch interconnection. We, we already finished the basic network for underlay configuration. So we'll move on to the next section for interconnection configuration. As I mentioned in previous video, starting from the interconnection configuration section, it will be totally for overlay network. So as you can see here, it's a VN name. So which means we need to create a virtual network. So what you, what you need to do, just click create and give the name for the first VN. I will give the VN1. Okay. So we have totally four sites, okay, available sites. So we can move all the sites to the selected sites. From the diagram on the top, you can see we can use we can share the same size in different VN. For example, we have department one VN and department two VN. So the t two virtual v network are sharing the same side side two. Okay? So you can consider that the two multiple virtual networks share the same physical network. Okay, and then click OK. So the first VN1 has been created successfully. So we will create another VN. I give the name VN2. And we can move the same size, for example, side one and side two to the selected side. Okay, you can see two different virtual networks are sharing the same size, side one and side two. So we will configure all the overlay configurations to VN1, okay? Because VN1 already selected all the four sites. So inside the VN1, you can see there there are, two, uh, there are three sections you need to configure. Okay, first one service, second LAN service, third LAN one interconnection. So from here we need to configure. We only need to configure two part. So the, for the second LAN service, it's actually optional. We can configure it in the following videos. We don't have to do it now. So we will finish the first part only for one. Okay, then we'll come back to do the LAN services. Okay, moving on here, we have the inter-site VPN. And we will choose, by default, it will choose the simple mode. So you have two options for topology mode, hard spoke and full mesh. I will select from hard spoke as of now. Okay, so we will show you two different sides, hard side or branch side. Right? And you can have multiple hard side and also multiple branch side here. So I will only, because I only have uh, four sides, I will use side one working as the hard side <clears throat> and make sure branched branch hard, this is enabled. And for branch side, we will add the rest of size as branch side. Just move them all to the bottom. Click OK. OK. Now, the new virtual network has been <coughs> added. Uh, we have already added the full size to the new virtual network. Okay. And the, the new topology is hub spoke. Okay, so we have done the one services. So it's quite simple, right? And now we move to, move to the third part for Laman interconnection. So, so far we completed all the one uh, 
uh, configurations. So the reason why it is called Lama interconnection because now we start to configure the Lancer LAN part. Okay. So how do we move the? How do we bring all the LAN devices online automatically? Okay. Because previously we've completed, we only completed zero tech provisioning for one devices for router only. But now we start to bring the devices, the, the LAN devices. Okay. So we need to uh, give the interconnection between LAN and WAN. So when we click inside the LAN interconnection, on, on top on the top part, you can see there are four sides. Okay. So we need to configure side one by one. So for side one, which is the hard side, uh, we need to go to the advanced mode. Okay. Uh, I think we need, we need to refresh. So sometimes the network is not good enough because I'm remotely logging this platform. Okay. So under the advanced mode, we have the gateway. Okay. We have two gateway. Remember, remember that? We have dual gateway for side one. So we will choose the AR1-1. So there are also two selections for gateway interface. So this interface will be the gateway for all the devices behind the router, which means this is a gateway for switch access point, also the test PC. And I will choose layer two, okay? If uh, you can also choose layer three, if you have uh, multiple VLAN interfaces, you can choose layer three and configure the sub interfaces. Just to make it simple, I will choose layer two because my router has a layer has a switch port. Now I will, you need to give a VLAN, for example, three thousand one for side one, and I will for the interface, the physical interface that is connected to the switch. Okay, so. My physical number, port number will be zero slash zero slash one, and uh, because it is layer two type, so we need to check the untag. I will give the IP address will be the eleven dot one dot one dot one slash twenty four. Okay. Okay. So we click inside the configuration. We need to enable the DHCP for the router because the router will be working as a DHCP and assign IP address to all the LAN devices for, for switch, access point, also for the test PC. And move on to the to the option DHCP option part. So this part is very important because we we use DHCP option to bring up all the LAN devices online. So the option so while we use the DHCP option 148 so this is a customized option. Remember that it's DHCP 148. So what you need to do, just click here, and this is a fixed string. There, there is only one part you need to modify. So remember this part, the Agile Controller Manage Domain. So this part you need to change to the right source bound IP address of the MS and Z cameras. So this is the same as before that I shown in previous zero touch provision video, so which is 10.1.36.7. Okay, so you can see this is the same sum that as our GUI. So the GUI IP address will be the northbound IP, and this southbound IP address is used, used for registration from the network devices. Okay, just click OK, and the last part. We need to enable the VRP. So we remember that for side one, which is a hard side, we have dual router. So the, from LAN perspective, our router is working, is running the VRP. Okay. So which means one router is active, the other router is standby. So we will configure, we will, we will give a virtual virtual IP for the uh, for the LAN devices. Uh, the same subnet 11.1.1.12. Okay, so this subnet will be the gateway for all the LAN devices and the test PC. So we'll make it as master for AR1 1. Okay, uh, sorry, 11.1.1.1. This is the physical IP address for the router. And click apply. So this is this is done for AR1 1. 1. 
we also need to configure AR1-2, okay. the backup router. Same VLAN and physical part which is also connected to the SW1, the switch one, 0 slash 0 slash 1. Make sure this is untacked because it is the layer 2 port. And the physical port, physical IP will be 11.1.1.2. Okay. It's different from AR1-1. And we're doing the same with the same as the AR1-1. Enable the DHCP and make sure this has this is configured for DHCP option 148. The NC campers southbound IP will be the 10.1.36.7. Click OK, enable the VRRP 11.1.1.1.2. Okay, same virtual IP at the master. So this one we need to change to backup. Okay, click apply. Okay, we finish all the lama interconnection for site one. Now we we'll move on to the site two. We will do the same as site one. The only differences will, will be the single gateway. So we only need to configure one time. Select AR2. So this the this VLAN I will use 3002. Make sure it is the uh, untag and okay. So because let's come back to the diagram for site two. Our AR2 have two uh, LAN switches. So we connect the two switches. So the two switches port number uh, will be the two dash there dash there. Okay. So we will add another port, physical port, because we connect two switches. Another one is two dash there dash one. Okay. So this has been confirmed. And uh, the gateway for the uh, LAN switch will be the twelve dot one dot one dot one dot one. Slash 24. I will configure enable the DHCP to bring up all the devices behind the router and make sure the DHCP option 148 is enabled. 10.1.36.7. Okay, so this here you don't have to enable the uh, VRP there because there there's only one single gateway. Okay. Okay. It's done. For site 3, advanced mode 3003. Okay, port number 1, 13.1.1.1. This is the same configuration at site, as site side 2 okay. okay because side 3 we only the router only have one switch connected okay side 3 only one switch sw3 and side 4 only sw4 okay so we'll finish the side 3 uh, Make sure this is applied already. Move on to the last site for site 4. Advanced mode AR4. 3004. 0 slash 0 slash 1. 14.1.1 slash 24. Anybody DHCP? DHCP option 148 and the campus southbound IP address 10.1.36.7. Okay, okay, apply. Okay, so far we done all the Laman interconnections. Okay, for all the four sides. Now we move on to the last part traffic policy. Before, uh, even after we've completed the interconnection configuration. The switch and AP behind the router still offline. The reason of that because we, we need to make sure all the sites have the internet or MPS connection. Okay, so that's the reason why 
I switch to the uh, tra transport policy, we need to uh, create create a site to internet. Okay, so from here you have two options: the centralized internet access or local internet access. And make sure the VN because we have two VN, and make sure you select the correct VN. Okay, for VN one, and I will use the so centralized internet access means all the devices come to the hard site. Then it will have internet access. And the local internet access means the devices from each site will access locally. Okay, so I will uh, choose local internet internet access. We just easily move all the sites to the bottom. Click next, and from here you can see for each site there there are two uplinks, internet and MPS. So we just need to enable each site okay for the redundancy purpose if once if the internet link is done and the, we can still use the MPS link for registration okay so, so you can also change the link priority okay? I will make the end change and make sure the net are is enabled for each site the net mean is used for all the devices LAN devices behind the router so the mean which is which means the router will do the net for all the devices beyond the router. Click, click finish. Okay, success. So we click the last configuration result to check the configuration whether it is successfully provisioned to the devices or not. You can see for the side one, now it's deploying to the router. Side two, okay, router successful. Set three, set four. So we just wait several minutes until all the configurations are provisioned from controller to network devices. So let me just pause the video and until it finish. Normally it will spend within five minutes. Even though you have the hundreds of thousands of network devices, we can still finish the provision within five minutes. Okay.